Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai Pereira. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. Are you ready? So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 
All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. You gotta defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Edwards gets back up, no surprise there. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Ooh, what a punch. Well, that one should be the mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Edwards. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Massive head kick. Oh! Big oh, knee nice lands deal. there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. All collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. And they set him. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Alright, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Look at him working at trying to set the liver down. He loaded up there on that high kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got the tie clinch. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looks like a moment right on the Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making his split showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're gonna start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this world. Absolutely, and the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. 
He used to be at AKA for months, and you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work in, as he's doing his work now inside the octagon. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's doing that jab. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And he caught the kick. Two rounds in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Edwards gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Ooh, big shot man. Looping left hand misses the target. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot pin down to try to get out of Muay Thai. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Hunter. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC. I gotta check and say less. Don't you know everything live now? If it ain't put it to press, is it true? Then, 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 then